Welcome to this tutorial on the latest update for Substance Painter's Path Tool. In this video, we'll explore how to use, edit, and adjust the transparency of strokes using the Alpha Channel in Substance Painter. Previously we used paint effects in Substance Painter in destructive way. For example, we are not able to change color after you paint. But now we can edit. To access the Path Tool, make sure you have the latest version of Substance Painter installed. Once you have it open, you can find the Path Tool in the toolbar on the left-hand side. It's represented by an icon that looks like a curved line. Now that we have the Path Tool selected, let's learn how to use it. The Path Tool is mainly used to create and edit strokes on your 3D models only in this update. Path Tool works in 3D view only, not in 2D or UV view. To create a stroke, simply click on the 3D canvas to set a starting point for your path. Then, continue clicking to define the shape of the path. You can add as many points as you need to create complex curves and contours. Once you've created a path, you can manipulate it by clicking and dragging the vertex points to adjust their positions. Click between two vertex can add vertex. Select the vertex and you can move. You can the settings of alpha like size and opacity etc. anytime. To change alpha in Path G to properties and select any alpha or preset able to change properties anytime. To make smooth and corner point select the top icon or double lick the left mouse button. You can change the pressure also to get different results. Able to select any vertex point and able to change the pressure value to get unique outputs. We can erase the path with help of path. Erase second icon. We can smudge the path also third icon in path tool. To delete a point, simply select it and press the delete key on your keyboard. If you want to remove the entire path, Select it and press the backspace or delete key. You can edit settings such as color, handle size, and vertex point size. It's also possible to view tangents, normals, and path direction. Let's explore some other options in the path tool. You can duplicate the path and change the alpha to get unique results. Duplicate path shortcut control plus D. Duplicating the path and changing the alpha will give new results. There are various presets available for different effects, such as top stitching, puckering, welding, and zipper patterns. These presets allow you to create realistic effects with ease. Creating top stitch in non destructive way. Select top stitching preset, which is newly updated. Able to edit all options inside properties. Below top stitch, created with the help of new path tool only we can edit vertex points anytime. Creating puckering details in non-destructive way. Select puckering preset which is newly updated. Able to edit all options inside properties like intensity full to get exact results. Creating welding effect in non-destructive way. Select welding metal preset which is newly updated. Change size to get realistic effect like weld and manipulate other properties like metalness and color. You can other paint features like symmetry to simplify the work of mirror models. Creating zipper effect for clothes and bags etc. in non-destructive way. Select zipper tape preset which is newly updated. Able to change the color of zipper and zipper fabric also in this preset. You can also use the path tool in Substance Painter for creating masks also. 
Substance Painter offers many more features that you can explore. Make sure to update your software to check out the new updates in a non-destructive way, similar to Substance Designer. That concludes our tutorial on how to use, edit, and adjust the alpha in the path tool in Substance Painter. Now you can start creating amazing strokes and effects on your models. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more Substance Painter tutorials. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Happy painting!